Hello and welcome to the Mike from LA1 Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Clam Clodhopper My Player Series here at MLB 2K12. He is a closing pitcher, pitching in the Miami Marlins farm system with the Jack AA Jacksonville Suns and in this episode we will see him do training as we're going to do composure and stamina this time as in the next episode this, and in this episode, we'll see him do training, and I do probably see him do a couple of games in the farm system. And <coughs> Where are my manners? None of your business! Okay, now let's hit A to continue here. As right now is my composure. As, yes, the number 38 is, is from my favorite closer, which is, who is Eric Gagne. Yes, I know, many people are saying, I'm saying, hey, he committed, you know he took steroids. <laughs> yes, I did know that, but it wasn't during his epic years. And once again, he is doing really well. And look at this, he already got a bronze status. And yeah, if he does real well here, he's probably going to get a silver status. And nope, not yet. As it's still 1-0. As there you see a good stand show here. One now is the time to see he's the day. As right now, as look at this, the center fielder's running! Silver medal for all for Glenn Clodhopper. So but now there is he has no margin of error. He has to get all of them of his two attempts to get gold. Otherwise, he is screwed. As right now, as that was a weak pitch, but 0 2 count here. Oh, uh, wow, pitch. Hopefully, that doesn't take an attempt away, which, no, it won't. Two and two, ugh, jeez. My god, is this killing me. Okay, no way, he's gonna be silver for, for the rest of this. So, that's disappointing knowing that he won't get us, don't get gold, but silver, you get as much shiny rewards. There we go, there we go. As he'll get silver, so 175 skill points go to Mr. Clodhopper right there. And yes, he is a character in the Laughing Stock Company. And don't worry, the last one is going to be the mayor, Sam McGillicuddy. And tomorrow, we'll be for the first video, we'll be Sally Mae. That's who she'll make her anticipated debut with the Charlotte Bobcats organization. And now we are crossing into this series at Mississippi to take on the Braves, who are the OG. I wonder who their affiliate is. Yep, it's the Atlanta Braves. They're in at their division rival. And now at the top of the bottom of the eighth, Clem comes in to relieve him as a with a one nothing lead. So that is not a safe margin of error here, because right now Clem is in a relief role and there you see him in the road jerseys here playing for the Suns. So there you see Clam continuing here and there's a one and there's his first change up here as he is and once again the manager is calling for a change up here as there you see it. Whoa weird bounce but oh what are you doing? Thank you. Whew, got nervous there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hang on, this is a. Have we played in this field before? Hang on. Here. 
Oh yeah, this is like the one they have. That's the one they have. As you can see, this is kind of like the Ham Hamptons field. You know, that's what they should call it called in NBA 2, MLB 2K13. Hamptons field. Because it looks like a ballpark built around the Hamptons. And base hit once again off Clem. And but he does pass the goal, which is the easiest goal ever. Ugh, sucks that it had to be the fastball though, but oh well. Not a first goal pitch. Uh oh. No, no, better not be a home run. Okay, good. As Clem once again is going to take the fastball, which is his good pitch. As Clem continues to dominate, we could see the strikeout here, and he decides to do something incredibly stupid. And risked it, but no strikeout here, but he gets the out. So it is still a 1-0 lead. In favor of this, but what? They lost? Two to one, they came back to win it. And the top of the ninth, really? So that means the closer has to have gotten the loss. Let's see. Yeah, the closer got the loss. Clem did a great job, and yet, and yet he gets the win. I mean, jeez. Look at his ERA. Still zero. That is amazing because the Miami Marlins know he's a price prospect. Let's go to the message center. Says nice hold. So now we are continuing on here toward his next appearance. As you can see, they are continuing to lose. But look, back at Mississippi again here. Here for Mr. Claude Hopper now. Oh, gee. Thanks, boss. Way to put Clem in the situation. I wish in the minor leagues you could demand a trade to an organization so Clem can get out of the situation with a one run lead. Entering the bottom of the eighth inning here. So at least the sunlight's here for Clem here. So a good change up there by Clem. And now it is time. Ooh, it, helped, it almost hit someone in his dugout. Ugh. Whoops, he said change up there. Whoops. My bad. So he runs for the change up and there's the strike out of the video right there that's why we really kept going literally this is the whole point of the video video here it will continue on until someone gets a strikeout so that's gonna end this is gonna be the game that will end the video here so as out number two And right there, as there you see, that's going to be it for Mr. Cloud Hopper in this game. He pitched no inning with all runs. He had one with no hits. And but he did fail the goal there, so that's kind of unfortunate. As Clem comes up the bat, so okay, this could just make some extra bonus content. Here, as it's 5-4 at the top of the ninth. Here, as there you see Clem. First at bat here, and he's out. 
And just for extra content. What? He's safe? Are you serious? Wow. Wow, error. And now they're gonna go for someone else, and that is it for Clam tonight. That is the end for Clam. As they get the win, 5 to 4. Here, so Clem does not get the win this time, although I wish. So, I think this should just about do it for this episode. Come back next episode as we continue on here with the Mississippi, with the Jacksonville Suns. Later.